And despite an ongoing La Nina in the eastern Pacific, which can temporarily dampen all of our sea levels along the U.S. coast, the frequency of these relentless sea saltwater flooding, of the extreme weather we have, it continues to grow in this year. Yeah, that's right. And we have hurricane specialist Michael Lowry, who has the details on the latest predictions here. Rising water filling our streets and pouring out of parking lots. It's becoming a familiar scene in South Florida, what scientists call sunny day flooding. Sunny day flooding, high tide flooding, nuisance flooding, all are used to describe flooding, um, typically with no storm in sight, uh, with water in the streets, water spilling out of stormwater systems, water causing inconveniences to our, to our people, to the public, to uh, damaging infrastructure due to the cumulative impacts. Dr. William Sweet, WI oceanographer with NOAA's National Ocean Service, told me several factors affect differences in our local sea level rise. Including sinking land and a slowing of the Gulf Stream current along the eastern seaboard. When the Gulf Stream or the Florida current slows down, coastal sea level rise along the eastern United States, Florida in particular, increases. An estimated 40% of Florida's population is at risk for storm surge flooding, and we're not talking about just people right along the coastline, but also those living inland. As you go west from the ridge around the railroad in 95, you lose elevation as you approach the Everglades. And so, yes, the western parts of our counties in Broward and Miami-Dade are they should experience some serious uh, effects as well. Dr. Colin Polsky, director of the Center for Environmental Studies at Florida Atlantic University, says local efforts to stem the rising tide, like putting duck valves on storm drains, are helpful but limited. Because it's not going to really work beyond certain levels of sea rise. Until we can contain the effects of global warming, which can't happen overnight, Scientists say we're facing both the ecological and economical cost of now rapidly rising seas. Now, according to scientists, standing water will go from a matter of inches for a few hours, as we currently experience, to several feet for much longer, maybe days. This could ultimately change both the desire to live here in South Florida and even government and private support for flood-related damage.